My name is Robert Wilson. I came to Bell Labs in 1962 measuring and recording radio waves between galaxies, mostly in the Milky Way galaxy, along with my partner Arno Penzias. began on the horn antenna. We were trying to find radio signals between galaxies, but couldn't find a good way to do it. The horn antenna became available to us around 1962 after it was done with commercial use. Using that, we were able to look at radio signals in the cosmos. Before we could even start doing that, we had to get rid of this annoying background noise that was happening constantly. Our project occurred in Holmdale, New Jersey around 1962. Our famous discovery, although happened in May 20th of 1964, everything else we did didn't really matter, but the one thing we did discover mattered a lot. Now you have to remember, this was the mid-60s, so there was the Vietnam War happening in full force. There was the counterculture movement that was taking over the streets and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was in the process of being written. So there was not a lot of attention on astrophysicists or astronomy in general. No, Penzias and I were the sole experimenters and researchers in this project. Though when we found the radiation, the background noise, we defined it as this cosmic microwave radiation and immediately phoned our friend Robert Dick. He was a physicist at Princeton and he had theorized that if there had been a Big Bang, there would be this constant background radiation happening. Now, when we told him about it, we basically proved his theory, and therefore proving the theory of the Big Bang. Now, mind you, in this time period, there was the steady state theory and the Big Bang theory. I myself was a believer in the steady state theory, so this did not really coincide with my beliefs. So, everything we found, we just kind of released the data for. We never concluded to the fact that there was a Big Bang. My role in this project was to listen and record radio waves as seen throughout the galaxy. Now, obviously, I did not get very far in this project before we found the noise that was... Before this experiment took place, there was a lot of negativity towards astronomy and astrophysicists in general. After this experiment, it really paved the way for astronomy and astrophysicists to take their profession into a respectable form and be recognized by the physics community as an actual time-worthy profession. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny because after we decided that I wasn't from New York, it wasn't the birds flying around, we noticed that there was a lot of bird poop on the horn, so we went and cleaned off all of that. And we noticed that these pigeons just kept hanging around and defecating on the horn. So after we tried to shoo them away and get them around, Arno just pulled out a shotgun and did the humane thing to get rid of them. <laughs> 